remembering that the justice system is a united system, or it should be when it works. Someone on behalf of probation, the General Secretary from Napo, Ian Lawrence. My learned friends, comrades, who never thought I'd stand here, a boy from South London, addressing you in this way. But I've got a quick message to start with. It's our friend Black Rod over there. It's just too noisy for you, sir. Do what most of them in there do. Put some earphones on and stop listening. You just say in your tent, and we'll stand here outside, peeing on it. Colleagues, <laughs> I bring you fraternal greetings from NAPO, the Probation and Family Court Trade Union and Professional Association. We stand with you in common cause. Behind me are professional pac practitioners in the probation service. They have a term for someone like Chris Grayling. It's called repeat offender. And I'm proud to stand by them and with them in front of you today. So we have common cause you'll know exactly what we are facing in our struggle. And our members have asked me to send you that message of solidarity, and I'm happy to do so. Well, I too, I came here with a heavy heart this morning, reading in the newspapers and seeing it in the media, the revelations about the investigations that went on in the Stephen Lawrence uh, saga. It gives me a heavy heart that we have a justice system that so palpably fails the British people. It gives me a heavy heart we have a Justice Secretary that has so miserably found the electorate and the message is, he must go and sue. Well, the Grayling's plan to destroy the legal aid system and sell off 70% of my members' work are, of course, an abject disgrace. And that's why we are ramping up the campaign in the way that you are today. I can tell you that a meeting this week of my members we decided we would announce further strike action on the 31st of March right through the 1st of April. We're doing that because we need to make a statement about what privatisation means for the safety of our community. The Grayling doesn't listen, so we'll make him listen. And I hope you might consider, when you decide to take action again, coordinating that action with us across that time. I have one other key message as well. This is each time we welcome your comments on where you think the Labour Party stands. But there's two things you need to do. You need to write in your election manifesto, going into the next election, hands off legal aid and no privatisation or probation. <laughs> but you know what, Sidney? You might get people voting for you. The 1st of April has a special significance. Today is Grayling Day. The 1st of April is Mr. Grayling's birthday. No quips about fools, please. So let's go from here with a determination for solidarity and collectivism. Let's determine on the 1st of April we give Chris Grayling the worst birthday present he's ever had. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of birthday cards present delivered to the MOJ and a day of misery for him and his inept coalition government. Thank you.